Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to my shining Mike Mattis Revelation. In our last class, we were looking at trigonometry identity. We started from trigonometry function and we'll move a little bit into trigonometry identity. In our class today, we are going to be focusing on trigonometry identity. And uh, before we take the first question, I want us to actually look at some of the things we arrived at in the last class. Number one, talk about say, theta is equal to 1 over cos theta. We said cos theta is equal to 1 over sin theta. Cos theta is equal to 1 over tan theta. And 1 over tan theta is the same thing as cos theta over sin theta. Because you have your tan theta is equal to sin theta over cos theta. We also derive sin squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. And 1 plus tan theta is equal to sec squared theta. Then we have 1 plus cos squared theta is equal to 1 is equal to cos squared theta. So these are some of the things or the identity we arrive at in the last class. So we are going to take more questions on the topic trigonometric identity. Now let's look at this. Prove that 1 over 1 plus cos theta plus 1 over 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 cos sec squared theta. Solution. We are solving the left. We have 1 over 1 plus cos theta plus 1 over 1 minus cos theta. If I find the LCM, find the LCM, the LCM is 1 plus cos theta bracket 1 minus cos theta. If cos theta, 1 plus cos theta divide this, divide the LCM, we cancel this one out so you are left with this. So this times this. Uh, 1 minus cos theta times 1 will give you 1 minus cos theta. Also, if 1 minus cos theta divide the SCM, that is the SCM divided by 1 minus cos theta, this will cancel this, so you are left with 1 plus cos theta. So 1 plus cos theta times 1 will give you plus 1 plus cos, plus cos theta. So this will be the same thing as 1 plus 1 is 2 minus cos theta plus cos theta will be 0. So this is 2 over. If you open this bracket, 1 times 1, difference of 2 square, that will be equal to 1, 1 minus cos square theta. 1 minus cos square theta is the same thing as 2 over sine square theta. Record that sine square theta plus cos square theta will be equal to 1. So don't forget that. And uh, this will give us, uh, this is the same thing as 2 times 1 over sine square theta. 1 over sine square theta is the same thing as uh, this will be equal to 2 cosec square theta. Because 1 over sine theta is equal to cosec square theta. Cosec square theta. Now let's look at this question. Prove that 1 minus cot alpha cot beta into bracket times tan alpha plus tan beta bracket close plus bracket to put 1 minus tan, tan alpha tan beta bracket close bracket open cot alpha plus cot, cot beta is equal to 0. So what we are going to do I want you to look at the board. I'm going to solve this first. We'll get the answer. I will solve this. We'll get the answer. So we'll combine the answer together. 
So I want you to pay attention. I'm going to take it one by one. Take it one by one. Now the first part of the question is, 1 minus cut alpha cut beta, bracket close, times tan alpha plus tan beta. So let's solve this part first. If you open this bracket, open the bracket, open bracket, 1 times tan alpha will be equals to, this will be tan alpha, 1 times tan beta will be equals to, plus tan beta, then minus cot alpha cot beta times tan alpha, this will give us minus cot alpha cot beta tan alpha. Then minus cot alpha cot beta times tan beta, that will give us minus cot alpha cot beta cot beta tan beta. So this is the first expansion. This is the first expansion. Now recall that your cot alpha is equals to 1 over tan alpha. So anyway I see cot alpha, I will replace it with what? Represent it with tan alpha in the first uh, equation there. Anyway I see cot alpha, I will replace it with what? Tan alpha. So this will be the same thing as tan alpha plus tan beta minus 1 over tan alpha. As looking at this now, here you have cut alpha. I replace 1 over tan alpha times cut beta tan alpha. Then here we also have what? Cut alpha here, so that will be minus, minus, solving this part now, minus 1 over tan alpha, 1 over tan alpha, uh -huh, times what? Cut beta, cut beta, then you have what? Tan beta. Tan beta. So we have tan alpha plus tan beta will be equal to 1 over tan alpha cut beta tan alpha. Then here your cut beta become 1 over tan beta. So if I cancel out Tan, we cancel this tan. Tan beta, we cancel this tan beta. So what I will have here is what? Tan alpha. Tan alpha plus tan beta minus cot beta minus cot alpha minus cut alpha. So this is the first part. This is the first part. So I can say, let me label this one. One, I want us to get something very clear here. Yeah? I said we should solve the first part of the problem. The first part is one minus cut alpha, cut beta, bracket and alpha plus tan beta. And if I open the bracket, 1 times this will give me tan alpha, 1 times tan beta will give me tan beta, then I have cot alpha, cot beta, times tan alpha, I will obtain this. Remember the manual sign, 
Also, this tan beta times cut alpha cut beta. I also obtain this. But cut alpha or cut beta must always be what? 1 over what? Tan alpha or tan beta. Anyhow it goes. So, where I have cut alpha, I represent 1 over tan alpha. And where I have cut beta here, I represent with what? 1 over tan beta. And if you cancel out, tan beta will cancel tan beta. And tan alpha will cancel tan alpha. So, the first part of the equation we have tan alpha plus tan beta minus cut alpha minus cut beta. That is the first part of the equation. Now, the second part of the equation, you have 1 minus tan alpha, tan beta, brackets, cut alpha plus cut beta. If you expand your bracket, 1 times this, you have 1 times of cut alpha will be equal to cut alpha. 1 times cut beta will be equal to cut beta minus tan alpha tan beta times cut alpha that will be equal to minus cut alpha tan alpha tan beta the same way minus tan alpha tan beta that will give you minus tan alpha tan beta cut beta you use this to open this so follow the same procedure 1 over cut alpha 1 over tan alpha is the same thing as cut alpha the same go for beta. If it is 1 over tan beta, it will also be what? Cut beta. So, recall this. I say recall. So, this will become cut alpha plus cut beta. Now, where I have cut alpha here, I will introduce 1 over tan alpha tan alpha tan beta that is for this line then here where I have a cut beta that will become minus tan alpha tan alpha mm -hmm. tan beta this my cut beta is the same thing as uh, 1 over what? Tan beta. Tan beta. So, this can cancel this. And this can cancel this. So, finally, I have, this is cut alpha plus cut beta. Cut alpha, cut beta minus tan alpha minus tan beta so here you have tan beta here you have what? tan alpha so this form the second second part of the equation so let's combine the the first part and the second part together let's combine them together if we combine them together we have so 1 minus cot alpha cot beta bracket tan alpha tan beta plus 1 minus tan alpha tan beta here you have bracket close bracket open cot alpha plus cot beta so if we solve that We've already arrived at the first part is tan alpha tan plus tan beta minus cut alpha cut beta plus the second part is cut alpha plus cut beta minus tan beta minus tan alpha. So let's look at this. Here you have plus tan alpha here. Here is minus, so it cancels out. 
plus tan beta cancel out minus tan beta plus cot alpha cancel out cot alpha and cot beta cancel out minus cot beta so our final answer is equal to zero and that's exactly what we are asked to show exactly what we are asked to show Yeah, we are asked to prove that sec s minus cosec x over sec s plus cosec x is equal to tan x minus 1 over tan s plus 1. Solution. Let's start from the numerator. We start from the numerator. We have sec x minus cosec s is equals to sec s is 1 over cos s is 1 over cos s minus cosec s is 1 over sin s over 1 over sin s so if you find the SCM here, we will have cosec S, I'm sorry, cos S sin X. <coughs> that will be the SCM. So that if you use cos S sin S divided by cosec S, you'll be left with sin S. Times 1 will give you this. The same way, sin s divide this, you'll be left with cosec s. So here we have minus cosec s. Minus cosec s. <coughs> so, this can also be written. This is equal to sin S sin S over cos S sin S minus yeah is cos S yeah is cos S minus cos S over cos s sin s so this is the same thing as if you saw this remember that uh, your sin s over cos s is 1 over what is a uh, tan s so sin x over cos s is tan s so this will give me tan s tan s times 1 over sin s look at it, sin s over cos s is tan s so you are left with 1 over, over sin s yeah, cos s divided cos s we give you 1 so yeah, you are left with uh, minus 1 times 1 over sin s so finally we have this will be the same thing as 1 over sin x bracket this is times, don't forget what is common here? 1 over sin x is common tan x minus 1 so that is uh, in the case of what? sin x minus cos x in the same way, if we apply this, if you follow the same procedure, follow the same procedure, if you solve for sec x plus cos x, we are also going to get sec s, sec s plus cosec s plus cosec s 
It's going to give us It's going to give us 1 over sine x bracket tan s plus 1. That's s plus 1. So if we divide it to, if we divide it to, how do we divide it to? Sec s, let's bring it out. Sec s. Minus cosec s divide by divide by sec s plus cosec s that will give us you see this we cancel out this so we are going to be left with tan s minus one over tan s plus 1. So this is exactly what we are asked to show. Remember, I said carry out the same operation on this using plus instead of minus. If you do that, you will arrive at 1 over sin s bracket tan s plus 1. And if you divide both sides, this divided by this, 1 over sine s will cancel out 1 over sine s. And our final answer is going to be tan s minus 1 over tan s plus 1. That is going to be our final answer. Now we are going to be looking at trigonometry equations. Trigonometry equation. Example, if a cos theta plus b sin theta is equal to 8 and a sin theta minus b cos theta is equal to 5, we are asked to show that a squared plus b squared is equal to 89. Solution. Solution. We have a cos theta plus b sin theta is equal to 8. If I square both sides, square both sides, you square both sides of the equation, this will give you This will give you a cos theta plus b sin theta r square will be equal to h square. And if you expand this, if you expand this, you have a cos theta plus b sin theta bracket a cos theta plus b sin theta will be equal to 64. And by expansion, we have an a square, a square cos squared theta, that is this times this, plus a squared times this, a cos squared theta times b sin squared theta, that will give us a b cos theta sin theta. So b sin theta times a sin theta that will also give us, that will give us 
you have uh, AB plus AB sin theta cos theta and B sin theta times B sin theta that will give us B square that's plus B square sine square theta and that will be equals to 64 so conclusively we can say this is the same thing as A square cos theta square I bring in B square plus B square sin square theta AB cos theta sin theta plus AB cos theta sin theta that will give us plus 2AB sin theta cos theta that will be equals to 64 that is for the first part for the first part of the problem now we are going to solve for the second part of the problem Now the second part is A sin theta minus B cos theta is equals to 5. And if I square both sides, I have A sin theta minus B cos theta bracket A sin theta minus B cos theta that would be equals to 5 square. And if I expand this I will have a square sin theta, that is a sin theta times sin theta, minus a b times cos theta, a sin theta times minus b sin theta, cos theta will give you a b sin theta cos theta. The same thing goes for minus b cos theta times a sin theta. That will also give me AB sin theta cos theta. Then minus B cos theta times minus B cos theta. That becomes plus. Minus times minus is plus. That's B square cos square theta. And that will be equal to 25. So this is the same thing as the same thing as a square sin square theta A square sin square theta plus B square cos square theta minus 2 AB sin theta cos theta is equals to 25 because minus minus that will become minus 2. So let's break down the first equation. We break down the first equation. We have our A square, A square sine square theta plus B square cos square theta plus 2AB sine theta cos theta is equals to equals to 64. So if I add these two equations together, add the two equations together, we have your A have your A into So adding the two equations together, we have a square bracket sine square theta plus cos square theta. Then you have plus b square. You have sine square theta plus cos square theta. 
This will cancel out this. This will cancel out. Minus 2AB sin theta cos theta plus 2AB sin theta cos theta will cancel out. Here will be equals to 89. Remember that sin square theta plus cos square theta is the same thing as 1. So we have A square plus B square will be equals to 89, which is the required word. Which is the required word. Proof. We're asked to show that a square plus b square is equal to what? 89. Now find the value of theta. Zero is less than theta. Theta is less than 360. Satisfying the equation 8 sine square theta plus 6 cos theta minus 9 is equals to 0. Now let's quickly look at this solution. Solution. We have 8 sine square theta. Plus 6 cos theta minus 9 is equals to 0. Sin theta, this is the same thing as 8 into bracket 1 minus cos theta cos square theta. Remember that sin theta is 1 minus cos square theta plus 6 cos theta minus 9 is equals to 0. Minus 9 is equal to 0. So, we say let, if you open this bracket, let's quickly open this bracket. We have, this is equal to 8 minus 8 cos square theta plus 6 cos theta Minus 9 will be equals to 0. And if you simplify further, if you simplify further, you will have that 8 minus 9 is 1. And if I multiply through by negative, if I multiply through by negative, I'm going to arrive at Multiply through by negative, multiply through, through by minus. Why am I doing this? I want this value to be positive. So this will give me 8 cos square theta minus, this one become minus, minus 6 cos theta my plus 1 will be equals to 0. Remember this will become minus, this will become plus and this will become minus. So that 9 minus 8 will give you plus 1 is equals to 0. Now we say let let P let P be equals to cos theta. Anyway we see cos theta we introduce P. Anywhere we see cos theta we so from here we say let p be equals to cos theta. So cos theta squared that will be 8p squared minus 6p plus 1 will be equals to 0. And if you factorize this, you factorize this 8 times 1 is 8. Two numbers will multiply. To give us 8, and when we add together, it must give us what? 6. Introduce to the center, so you have 8p squared minus 4p minus 2p plus 1 will be equals to 0. So that minus 4p minus 2p will give you minus 6p. 
And if this is true, we factorize by grouping. Factorize by grouping. Then you have 4p into 2p minus 1. Then here we have minus 1 bracket 2p minus 1 equals to 0. So that once you use what is outside to expand the bracket, it must give you the original equation. So we have 4p minus 1 bracket 2p minus 1 is equals to 0. And uh, p is equals to 1 over 4 or 1 over 2. Now, we have p is equals to cos theta. p is equals to cos theta. So anyway, I see p, I will just replace it with cos theta. So I have cos theta. Cos theta is equals to 1 over 4 or 1 over 2. So theta will be equals to cos prime 1 over 4 or 1 over 2. Cos prime. And if you check that, your theta will be equals to, use your four figure table to check, you have cos, cos theta, sorry, this is theta is equals to cos prime 0 0.25. 1 over 4 is 0 0.25. Or cos prime, cos raised to the power of 1, that's cos prime. 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. If you use a four-figure table, use a four-figure table to check. Where you have cos, you will have a cos, 0 0.25 will give us, theta will be equals to, theta will be equals to 75.52 and uh, 284.48 that is when theta is 0 0.25 and when theta is uh, 0 0.5 we are going to get the value of 60 degree and 360 I'm sorry and 300 degree so these are the possible value of theta between 0 and 360 degree. All you just have to do is to use your four figure table to trace this. Remember that your 0 0.25, you locate it in the first quadrant and in the in the in the last quadrant, that's the fourth quadrant. Cos is positive in those two quadrants. Cos is positive. Those that's why we are looking for the value of 60 degree for half and 360 for what? For that's 60 degree for yes, half is what 60 degree and 300 between what zero and what. 360.